like I was amazed when this suggestion came out because, well, for a true like like I know the the original original version of Des Enchantés from from the French artist from Milan Farmer. That's that's a song from the nineties. I used to listen to Milan Farmer so much when I was a teenager. Like she's she's our French Madonna. She she has this gothic melancholic universe that I that I was digging so much in the past. This was one of the first songs that our record label wanted covered because they love it. And also because we also influenced on that side is that like the three of us in the band were from different nationalities. And there was already a little bit of French on Rhapsodies in Black on Fake to Grey. And they, I think, really liked the idea of showcasing a little bit of that uniqueness into the new record. So having a song in French that people could know on a more international basis was also important for the record label. So when they said, oh, we're going to do Des Enchantés, I was like, are you, are you, are you, what? <laughs> do, you like, do you like singing in French? So to be very, very honest, this was the very first time in my life I ever was recorded singing in French. It was the first time I was approaching a song on a professional level in French. And that gave me quite a hard time because you don't pronounce French the way you pronounce English. So it sits differently in your mouth in the way you position everything and the way it sounds also with the resonances. Like I find English to be a very resonating language. I find French not so much. <laughs> So, uh, so I, for me, at the very beginning, it felt very unnatural, and I had to forget about judgment and sound and all, and just be like, just feel the song. You know, the words mean more to me because they're French and it's my mother tongue. So, so there is a they carry a lot of meaning compared compared to English, even if English is is a is a place I know more better and better. It's like French is still my my blood, you know, and flesh. <laughs> Um, and I think there are some pronunciation things there that I did double question myself, like, like, is it French enough what I'm saying right now? Or is that already too open or too, like, but it was so hard for me to tell. And, but in the end, I really enjoyed it because I loved the song and what it meant to me. And I hope that, that the original artist uh, would see this as a tribute. There will be a video for it, and it's a pretty bold move that we make for the visual and the unit and the visual universe of that of that song. And I just hope that she understands this is a tribute. <laughs>